Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we got here to Shiver City, we were framed for murder, turned out it wasn't murder, it was a guy who hit his head. Yeah, that's really stupid in my opinion, but whatever! <laughs> so now that we're back here, I decided to come over to this house because I forgot about something here. If you climb all the way up this furniture, there's actually a window here you can go out. Scale this building over here, you can climb in this window here. And you get a cool little item right down here in this treasure chest. And somehow Kumbario beat us here. No idea how, but the FXE badge changes the sound effect when Mario is attacking. Let's equip that. I'm actually uh, curious. Also, one thing I should mention: sometimes I have to actually press the uh, uh, pause button like five times before it goes. So you might hear me clicking a bunch. Uh, it's not my fault. It's just the way I'm re uh, recording this now. Also, the other thing I should mention because that was the most obvious thing that you would notice. Uh, there are black bars on the side of the screen now. Reason behind that being that, uh, I'm now recording this on the Wii U, since my Wii is acting up, the video starts messing up, and that's what's causing all the desync in my videos, I think. So, I'm not doing it like that anymore. I'm doing it on the Wii U, so I just purchased the, like, a dollar thing transfer up, and now I'm here. I have the, uh, game, I, uh, went in and just did that via, uh, uh, the transfer utility, I'm not remembering what it's called, the transfer data bit from the Wii to the Wii U, it wasn't an issue, and I got all the data over here. I was just kind of worried about it. Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you. Ice potato restores 5 HP. I do not, hmm, do I have cake mix? Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be perfectly fair, I will not be using the cake mix yet. I can go get more if needed, money's not an issue, I can get from the, the Shy, Guys to Shy, Buy? Shy Guys toy box if necessary. Now I'm just going to head in here, Shiver City Shop, Shiver Shop? I don't know. Check some items in, um, I don't need all these FP, first things first, cake mix out of here, I don't even need that right now. Uh, maple syrup, I only need one of them on me. I do not... I'm gonna turn the honey syrup into a, uh, another item waiter, so I'll keep that. Let's keep the pal block. And... That should be everything we need to put... Mm, let's put one way, one of these, uh, stinky herbs away. Alright, I'm tempted to buy a live stream though. I won't though for now. If everything goes well, I won't need it. Uh, I've done a test run of this area of the game. It's not an issue for me, so long as I'm smart about it. So let's move on. Let's keep on moving on. Oh yeah, by the way, I ruined these girls' as a surprise. Remember they wanted to go ice skating? Yeah, well. Ah, the ice on the wake broke! We were just about to go ice skating! Oh, this is totally unfair! I was so looking forward to skating all day long! Well, I messed up. Uh, perf 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 for Puffin's sake, the mayor's wife is an alarmist. Although I bet everyone involved in that case would, would agree that my detective work was perfect. Mm. Oh, it makes it sound like Yoshi, I just realized that. Oh, another thing I want to do while I'm thinking about it. Go over to my badges. Uh, what do I need? What don't I need? I'm not going to be focusing at all. Not right now, at least. So instead, I'm going to turn on the I Spy badge so I don't miss any uh, shards. Uh, star pieces? Yeah, those. Okay, I just want to be sure I didn't miss any there. I feel like I did miss something in Shiver City I'll have to go back for. Also, um, I'm going to show something up here, and I'm also going to show a glitch. So, first things first, let's see a character up here. Hey, 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 hey! Brr, <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever! I was getting desperate! I thought I was going to freeze! This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy! I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here! I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm! You ready for the- I miss- I skipped that! Yeah. 
Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I learned cool techniques. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that piece of work. I've been taking a little magic courses on the side, and now you're gonna be my final exam. Yeah, I'm gonna win this time. All right, so as you might guess, that's why I took out Gumbario, so we can tattle him. Junior Troopa. It's Junior Troopa! I'm stunned, really! This guy just will not quit! Max HP 50, attack power 8, defense power 1. He's obviously been training, it seems like he can use magic now. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Yeah, that's really my thought on it. The jury did Oh, I didn't mean to. Never mind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! And... well, I don't care. <laughs> that felt fantastic! I just got... Keep, I just keep getting on better. Keep on getting better. Ooh. Alright, well, let's charge. I don't think I've shown this technique before. I'm not sure, it's been a while. As you can tell, the battle is just going to be this over and over again. But it should be easier now that I've done that. Now I just do a multi ball. As you can tell, that did a lot of freaking damage. It helps because I'm not very good at Goombario's uh, uh, multi ball for some reason. And he's dead. Defeated in his prime. Yeah, that battle is not hard if you have the right badges and you're as strong as I am. Really, you don't even need to be as strong as I am. No! no. You, as per usual, just keep beating on him. Now, the glitch I wanted to show a few up last episode, I think it was last episode. I'm going to show it right here on the screen. As you can tell, you actually get to ride on sushi and you get to ride through the water. And, well, not through the water, but the land in this case. You can actually go all the way up to the next areas of the game. Actually getting a battle with uh, Junior Trooper here will actually get hit the cutscene glitched. He'll be attacking you and, well, you'll be on screen the entire time. It's a little bit funny in my opinion. <laughs> but that will get you out of Sushi's mode, so if you want to go on to the next area of the game and actually skip part of the stuff up here, then you're going to have to, you know, wait. But I'm not going to show the rest of that yet, as you can see I just moved on to the next area. I will be showing off what the, how to get to the next area of the game through that cheating method, but I will not be doing it, uh, oh, oops. <laughs> I will not be doing it, uh, until you've seen the next area of the game, of course. Uh, let's see. Starstorm on all enemies. Let's do that. I can take a few more hits, I believe. Oh, I cannot take very many more hits, I just realized. Um... I don't know how much HP they have. Well, I killed it. <laughs> I think they have like 13, so I should've been fine. Oh, I'm dead. I'm flat out dead. I, I, I really died right here. I really died right here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why did I go and heal after a big battle? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, after going and healing after beating him with Rebel TVs, he's kind of frozen here forever. And by forever, I mean just for a little while. Until we beat this area of the game pretty much. Feels bad, man. Now, what I did last time... Grab that. Well, can you remember the exact spots? Also, adorable snowmen. And I think if you go around this... Yep, repel gel. Do any of these trees have anything on them? I don't remember. Also, I love the fact that it sounds like Yoshi now. Wait, what? 
Oh my gosh. I totally forgot there was a letter there. Good thing I was checking. Well, I got that letter, which means a free star piece from Mayor Penguin. I'm going You're not the one I'm interested in fighting. Oh god, it's about ten bad. That could have been really bad. Well, I don't want to fight those guys. Turn back, I'm no further, turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think, scary monster, I'll die. You know you want to run. Okay. Yes, very good, very smart. Okay. No? What? No, no, actually, no. What am I doing? Turn back on the further turn away. What do you think? I'm scared. <laughs> fighting you. I'm Mario. What? You will regret this. I'm Mario. I'm not afraid of anything. Except for, uh, except for mushrooms, apparently. Yeah, those, uh, those one-up mushrooms terrify me. Let's tattle him. The monster. This monster, even I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it looks really terrifying. I get this funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. Max HP 20 and defense power 0. I don't know what's attack power, but it must be very powerful judging by its looks. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks terrifying. Let's jump on it. There. Brace ourselves. With good timing, walk. Oh my god, that's such damage. Wow, such damage. Are you scared yet? Yeah, I'm terrified. Just look at me shaking my boots. See? Feel my boots. Feel them on your face and how shaky they are. <laughs> As you can get, this is not a serious battle in the slightest. And yet, I still get 14 star points for it. <laughs> I'm almost there to leveling up. No, run away! And as it turns out, they're all little tweets. They're adorable. <laughs> they're so cute. I'm sorry, I'm kind of squeeing over them, but I'm just in such a good mood. And... Oh, you're Mario, yes? Thank you for coming. How do you do, I'm Merle? I care for the Star Kids Pony and Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please follow me. Yeah, as you remember, Merle was actually the person who invited me. He's uh, Mer Merlin's uh, son, or wait, son, I believe. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened. They frightened strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Now, before I head up there, I'm gonna talk some, to some people. I'm gonna give the Star Heathen. When I get to there, I want to over lots of people's wishes, and I want to become a great Star Spirit someday. When I do, I'll grant your wishes, Mario. Of course I will, I promise. I've never been so busy. These Star Kids are as hyper as days long. When the Star Kids seem to be playing hide and seek, you haven't seen him, have you? I swear, the second I take my eyes off him, he's always run off somewhere. What a naughty little Star Kid. One of the Star Kids is hiding somewhere. <laughs> Can you, could you tell me if you find them? I would suppose it's natural for youngsters to be full of energy, but they're trying to, they're trying my patience. I don't have time for this. I wonder how Twink is doing. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He went just before Bowser took the Star Rod. He was such a great kid. He looked after everybody. Do you think he'll ever get to see Twink again? I'm sure he will. Twink's a good kid. He's really helpful. Please get the Star Rod back from Bowser, Mario. The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. I don't need that. I've got my hands full with these Star Kids. They're all so active. Come in, please. No, I didn't want to go in yet. Fine. Now, Mario, you must heed what I'm about to tell you. The frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It's named that this because it is not is here that stars are born and raised before it's rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Oops. I didn't even know you could do that. From the Star Road from Star Haven. The power of that place is weakened, and Star Kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. 
I sent a ninja to my father, Merlin, hoping that would coax you to come here. Oh god, because I have found out where the last star spirit is. It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies above us. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. The star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of local people, and now no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though, and it involves items that have been passed down through these lands. Here, take this. You got the scarf! An ordinary scarf from Merle in Starborn Valley. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and other items here that have been passed down to Shiver City. If you help her open the way to the Crystal Palace, sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Star Hidden. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them and expel Bowser from the sky! Of course they will. Oh, okay. You're just gonna follow me out. Oh yes, Mario, I'd almost forgotten. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path of the Crystal Palace. A legend has been tended down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, but sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine to solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please, don't forget it. I won't, and it's not a hard puzzle, trust me. You're just... You guys think too, like, deep into this. Honestly, the people who designed this are not that clever. I don't know who your ancestors were, but they kind of were, d I don't know, dumb. You found me! <laughs> what, did you see my glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise in the sky soon? Oh, it doesn't say anything yet. Along with the ninjas, we're taking care of the star kids and the instruction of Mystic Merle. It's very rewarding to think that one of these kids might grow up to be a star spirit. Oh, can you imagine it? What a happy day that would be. But unless things get better around here, we'll just keep being a fantasy that never comes true. And now let's check in here. I'm cooking for the star kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. I'll probably be because the, they believe you'll get Star Rod back. I certainly hope you do. Tell me a story! Tell me the story about the time you saved a star spirit! I wonder what Twink is doing. Do you think Twink's saving fun stuff up there? Somebody read me a story. It was about... Somebody read me a story. It was all about all the stars and star having granted people's wishes. Alright. I... I found him. He's right up there. I told him not hiding him from you. God, my throat's having major mm, today. I guess that's what I get for not recording for forever and a half. Oh, there, I'm just gonna hit you. I don't care. I need to scan you anyway. Um, yeah, let's get you. There we go. Got him. And let's tattle him. This is the Gulpit. Whoa, Gulpits look pretty burly, don't they? Max HP 12, attack power 2, defense power 0. Gulpits attack by picking rocks up in their mouths and then spitting them back out. The bigger the rock they spit, the more damage they'll take. Bigger rocks take 7 HP in damage, the small ones take 5 HP. They can't do much damage without ammo, so you should concentrate on the rocks first. Uh, or it could not. Instead, just focus on killing him this turn. Yeah, you can actually target that pile of rocks. Not worth me doing in a fight like this. Honestly, it's more worth me just killing him as fast as possible he, so he can't do any more damage. And level up. Uh, as I can't raise BP, I'm raising FP for now. Because honestly, I'd love to just spam attacks. And attack you. As I thought, nothing to worry about. And you're dead, Mister. And I can tattle you. This is a frost brawn. Frost brawn is a frozen brawn of plants. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They'll try to freeze you with their icy breath. You'll be at their mercy if they freeze you, so you better try to mobilize them right away. Icy attacks don't work. They love ice. Fire attacks, though. Let's hope he doesn't use ice breath. Nope, just bit me. Sure. Don't worry. I won't be fighting too many of these battles, because honestly, I don't need to. 
the fights in the upcoming area will be plenty to level me up. I should be able to level up at least once more before uh, the end of the uh, temple we're going to. Crystal Palace. And I'm through. <clears throat> That's important. And he's still stuck in the ice. Stuck there forever. And I honestly feel like a total douche for leaving him there to freeze. I should have helped him. Huh. Oh well. Now let me heal. I'm gonna be. I'm meet you back at the mayor's house. Free ice potato again. I wonder how many of those I have. I have two currently. That's cool. I'll just use those between battles of the e palace. Figured that would be good use for them. Actually, I might have something better I can use it for. Now, if you head all the way into here. Wait, I told you I'd meet you at the mayor's place, didn't I? Oops. Oh, Mario, did you meet the Starborn Valley? Did you meet Merle? Oh, excellent. He said what? An item that's been passed down in the city? Uh, oh, right. There was something like that. Just a minute. I think I've got somewhere. Yes, I found it. Here it is. It's this useless bucket. What? No, I meant it's a bucket. This bucket has been passed down through the years in the Shiver City. As Merle must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means, though? <laughs> I don't even have the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like the Star Kids and Starborn Power are in trouble. I hope you do your best for the little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, whoever designed this, this way to the Crystal Palace, they're not clever. And just to reiterate, reiterate, reiterate for all of you. Yes, that's my dog in the background. I'm ignoring. Not clever. All right, guys, I'm back. You see how un, how just dumb these people are. This was the entire puzzle. The ancestors thought this was a good idea. A warm scarf, heart. Thank you. A cool bucket hat, heart. Thank you. What kind man you are. We thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's really, that's the thing. And they open up the wall. We've passed through here with with many thanks and blessings from the snowman, heart. Yeah, that's really the way. That is the way. So, since we're here, I think this is a good place to end things off. So, guys, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 64, we're just going to go off and we're going to have a really good time in the Crystal Palace where everything's shiny and kind and nice and not deceptive and cruel at all. We'll see you next time. Also, while we're doing this outro, I think this is a good time to show you how you can actually get through this little area without ever opening the door. I have no idea what you can uh, actually accomplish in the palace, as I didn't quite get that far. I kind of got a glitch that you will see right up here. <laughs>